Welcome to the Infographics channel. Today we will look at two countries located on one island of Hispaniola, the Dominican Republic and Haiti. The Dominican Republic is becoming a popular travel destination for international tourists. Haiti has been in chaos since the humanitarian disaster caused by the earthquake in 2010. These two countries are like a pair of siblings in which one has hit rock bottom and the other lives a quiet middle-class life. They live in the same semi-detached house. But the western segment, Haiti, is definitely different from the eastern one, the Dominican Republic. Is such a neighborhood safe for the Dominican Republic? How long can two societies coexist on one island, one constantly getting richer and the other constantly poorer? We will try to answer these questions in this material, based on available data. After its discovery by Columbus, the eastern part of the island of Haiti, or formerly Hispaniola, became a Spanish colony called Santo Domingo in the 16th century, and the western part a French colony called saint domingue The French brought large people from Africa to Haiti to work on sugar cane, coffee and cotton plantations. At the cost of exploitation and high mortality among slaves, Haiti supplied approximately 60% of its coffee production and 40% of its sugar to the markets of France and Great Britain. Slavery was abolished in 1793, and in 1844, Haitians of African descent won independence from France and from French planters. The Haitian Revolution is a unique example on such a large scale of the victory of black slaves over white landowners. Haiti is the second independent country in America after the USA and the only known country created as a result of a slave rebellion. Until the 19th century, there were fights for control of the entire island between Spain and France. In the 19th century, independence and insurrectionist trends increased, coupled with racial and class tensions in Haiti. Whites and mulattoes were privileged over blacks. In the early 20th century, the United States intervened in both countries. After American troops left the island, dictators took power. Democracy came to the Dominican Republic in the 1960s and to Haiti in the 1990s. Today, black people make up about 95% of Haiti's population, and about 11% of the Dominican Republic. In the Dominican Republic, approximately 73% of the inhabitants are of mixed origin. Unfortunately, we do not have data on the share of descendants of indigenous tribes in the societies of these countries. Whites constitute about 16% in the Dominican Republic and less than 2% in Haiti. Despite racial differences in both countries, the religious structure of society is similar, with Catholicism dominating. The population size is similar, the Dominican Republic has 10,200,000 inhabitants, Haiti has 11,200,000 inhabitants. The population density of Haiti is 403 people per square kilometer, which is the same as in the Netherlands, and the Dominican Republic is 220 people per square kilometer, which is the same as in Germany. The area of the Dominican Republic is 48,730 square kilometers, and Haiti's area is 27,750 square kilometers. A significant part of Haiti, about 40%, is land located in difficult mountainous terrain, not used for agriculture. There are approximately 10% of such land in the Dominican Republic. Both countries are located in a seismic zone and are at risk of hurricane winds. There is a risk of natural disasters. Please note that this should be taken into account both when planning your holiday in the Dominican Republic as well as in your home purchase decisions and property insurance clauses against natural disasters. The employment structure is definitely different. In Haiti, over 45% of the working population works in agriculture, while in the Dominican Republic it is 5%. In the Dominican Republic, employment in the service sector predominates, 61%. The society's high employment in agriculture proves a very low level of economic development and places Haiti on par with some African countries and the poorest countries in Asia. Today, the Dominican Republic is a middle-income country with a GDP per capita of $26,000, and Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere with a GDP per capita of $2,200.
For comparison, the US GDP at purchasing power parity is $80,000, tourism accounts for approximately 20% of the Dominican Republic's GDP and almost 1 million people or 10% of the population work in this sector. The sector is developing dynamically, every year the Dominican Republic is visited by approximately 10% more tourists than last year. In 2023, 10 million tourists were recorded. Haiti also has wonderful beaches that could become a magnet for tourists, but despite its best efforts, the country is unable to attract foreign tourists to the extent that natural conditions make it possible. Unemployment Dominican Republic approximately 7%, youth unemployment approximately 16%. Haiti's unemployment rate is 15% and youth unemployment is around 35%. Haiti has twice the unemployment rate, crime rate. Dominican Republic 5 to 10 cases per 100,000. Haiti 6 to 13 per 100,000. Similarly, a bit more in Haiti. But please see that many people associate Haiti with extremely high levels of crime. This is due to the situation immediately after the disastrous earthquake in the year 2000, when, due to the paralysis of the state and lack of help, the population began activities such as robbing shops in order to survive. Many people still associate this chaos with the permanent state of affairs in Haiti, but this is a far-reaching simplification that is inconsistent with the actual situation. In the year 2021, the president of Haiti was murdered and since then the destabilization of the country has deepened, which has resulted in an increase in crime, as the graph shows us. Haiti is not a safe place at the time of this recording. Illiteracy. Dominican Republic 5%. Haiti 38%. Abyss. According to the UN Human Development Index, the Dominican Republic ranks 80th, same as Moldova, and Haiti ranks 163rd, same as Nigeria. For comparison, USA is 21st. And now, when you see the gap between Haiti and the Dominican Republic, countries located on one island, you can ask whether an invasion of the Dominican Republic by desperate, poor, depraved by long-standing chaos is possible. Let's imagine such a worst-case scenario for the Dominican Republic. These countries are separated by almost 300 kilometers of border. Will the Dominican Republic border guard shoot migrants when they decide to enter the Dominican Republic illegally and en masse? Such a scenario is possible. What will then happen to the Dominican Republic's tourism market? In my opinion, this is an unlikely scenario. A similar situation is taking place today on the Colombian-Venezuelan border. A more developed country, such as the Dominican Republic and Colombia, may benefit from controlled migration from a poorer neighboring country, Venezuela or Haiti, respectively. Absorbing cheaper labor can be beneficial and can increase the margins of local businesses. The Dominican government is certainly monitoring the situation in the neighboring country and has probably developed an action plan for various eventualities. What convinces me most that the scenario of a mass invasion of Haitians into the Dominican Republic is unlikely to materialize is the ownership structure of Dominican tourist resorts. I don't have exact data in this regard, but I will show you data that indirectly indicates where the capital in the Dominican Republic comes from. We will find the answer to who will defend the Dominican Republic against uncontrolled destabilization. Foreign direct investment in the Dominican Republic amounts to $3,800,000 in 2022 and has been on an upward trend for 20 years. Tourism about $800 million, energy $700 million, industry $600 million. Main investors, USA, $1,200,000,000, Mexico $400,000,000, Canada and Spain $300 million each. For comparison, foreign investments in the Dominican Republic are the same as in New Zealand, Taiwan, Ethiopia, which has over 100 million inhabitants, Nigeria, which has over 200 million inhabitants, and more than Croatia, also a tourist country. Twice less than Poland. Haiti's foreign investment is $35 million and has been on a downward trend for 10 years. There is actually no foreign investment there now. A thousand times less than the Dominican Republic. If you have your own thoughts, share them in the comments.
I'm glad you watched this material. I encourage you to watch other videos on the channel and subscribe so as not to miss new episodes.